Welcome back to another year of Power Director Made Simple. In the last few videos, I have been somewhat critical of CyberLink's AI-influenced features that were added to PowerDirector. Today we're going to look at yet another AI feature that is part of the subscription version of PowerDirector 365, the AI Background Remover. I'll start with the Launcher program and click on the AI Background Remover applet. From there, I could drag any video into the input box for the AI, but this can always be easily accomplished from within the program. Instead, I'll click on the option to try with sample clip. The main program now loads with the sample video in track 2 and a color board on track 1 just to supply some color to the transparent background. I'll zoom in on the timeline to see what is happening. And I always like to expand the height of the track so that you can see the track more clearly. This is just an 8 second video. Let's briefly reverse engineer this clip to see what the AI actually did. Let's delete the color board on track 1 so that we can see the transparency. Let's closely look at the original video clip and hover the cursor over the small green box at the beginning. It says Tools AI Background Remover. Click on the green box and then click on AI Background Remover. Now we can see the check mark at the top to indicate the AI Background Remover is active and the choice of a transparent background was made. Let's remove the check mark to return to the original video clip before the AI background remover was applied. If I now play the clip, we can see all the objects in the background. So in this case, the AI background remover did a good job. Everything looks good. But if you know me, I want to get somewhat critical of the programming and menu structure within PowerDirector. So follow along. Notice that this menu for the AI has only two choices, either a transparent background or a blurred background. But there is that big blue advanced button on the lower right corner. Gee, I wonder what other things might be possible with the AI background remover if I clicked on the advance button. Hey, let's try it. Great, the advanced editing window opens. Click the down arrow next to the AI background remover choice to see what other wonderful things might be available. Whoa, what's this? The advanced options are 100% the same. There is nothing new here. Then why even have something called advanced if there are no other options? While we are here, I'm going to switch to a blurred background just to see what it might look like. I'll move the slider up to 10 for the maxim maximum amount of blur. Instantly, the effect is applied. I'll click on OK to return to the timeline. I'll move the playhead to home and hit play. OK, so far I have to admit that the AI has done an excellent job of either creating a transparent background or blurring it. But this was all done with their own sample video clip of a woman sitting stationary and the only thing moving was her lips. I'm going to try a video from the real world just to see how things really work. I'll close the edit screen and then delete the sample video on the timeline. I'll click on media 
and then my media, and then import my own real-world video files. There are two files here that I want to look at. Each of them is just 10 seconds long. Let's first take a look at the one named With Hat. I'll drag it down to track two. Here's a jolly gentleman dressed in a semi-costume for an appearance that he made on New Year's Eve. I'll play the clip and watch as he moves, but pay close attention to the background behind the outlines of the hat. Let's see how the AI feature handles that in creating a transparent background. I'll select the clip, click on Edit, then AI Background Remover, then enter the check mark, and finally click on Transparent Background. Now I'll click Play. Watch what happens to the outlines of the hat. Not very intelligent and totally unacceptable. Let's just try blurring the background. That was a much better job, but still lots of glitches around the hat. I'd say that AI just isn't aware that some humans often wear hats. So let's try AI on the same human subject, but this time without a hat. I'm going to delete the with hat video on the timeline, and I'm going to drag down the no hat video. I'm going to click on play for the no hat video just to see what it looks like normally. This would seem to be a perfect candidate for the AI feature to work with. It's just a somewhat normal looking human with multicolored hair. The kind that you meet every day. I'm going to click on the clip to select it. Then edit. Then the AI background remover. Then enter the check mark and I'm going to select Transparent Background. I'll now click on Play and let's watch the preview window. Well, that's not bad. Still a few minor glitches around the gray hair as it passed over the very light areas of the background. I'll try the blurred background effect. Well, that's even better, but there's still a few glitches around the hair. I'll turn the blurred degree to maximum and hit play again. Well, still a few glitches, but it is approaching a degree of acceptability. Now remember, using the AI background remover was either to blur the background or to create a transparent background to which you can add some kind of specialty background of your own, either a solid color or another video clip. As I close out this video, here is such an example of what can be done.
My overall impression is that the AI background feature is not all that bad. It probably still needs a lot of refining and some code updates. Sure, it seems to work great with stationary subjects with a high contrast background, but real world videos are just not like that. I think I can find some use for this feature in the future. So thanks Cyberlink for including this in the latest release. And thanks to all of you for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe.